Man, it's your big brother K. We know. Man, I want to teach y'all something real quick. Um, this is inspired by a conversation that I was blessed to be a part of um, about a couple of weeks back, week or so ago. Um, talking about success, and a lot of times when we think of success, um, we just kind of connect it to things that we can see or things that we feel like are tangible in our own life. Like if I got this big, nice, pretty house, two or three nice cars, and a whole lot of money in the bank. And I say, oh man, I'm successful. You know, because these are things that you can actually touch and, 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 get, a, and get a full glimpse at and experience and benefit from and enjoy. But there are also successes that take place in our life that we are totally oblivious to. We have no idea that these successes took place. And I'm going to give you a couple of examples of that. Uh, because being in the music business, I'll use myself as an example and others. Being in the music business, you meet so many people. You meet countless people. And because you meet so many people, we're not always in remembrance of every single interaction that we have with people. You don't remember every single person you met, every picture you took, every hand you shook, every conversation, you know, every quick little conversation. You don't remember all of that. But the person who you meet, they remember it. Because whether we want to like it or not, whether we accept it or not, uh, no matter how much humility we may have, um, people still may view us in a certain light. People may look at us and say, well, you know what, that guy or that, that, that lady is somebody that I really look up to and I've really been inspired by. And they'll never forget the interaction, good or bad. But you might have said something to them. You might have encouraged them in a way. You may have uh, says something complimentary to them and uh, motivating to them directly or indirectly even even if you didn't meet them in person you may have just said something through your art they may have saw you on TV on YouTube or social media wherever and it's, it lit a flame in them that made them go out and do something great in their own life that is a success that you share in. You are sharing in that person's success, even if you don't know. You may it be it may be somebody you never met, and something you said drove them and, and motivated them to become a doctor. Something you said drove them and motivated them to to, to follow and chase uh, their dreams and become a a professional basketball player, whatever it is. But you sharing that. And the the good thing about it is sometimes we actually get a chance to come full circle and we run into people who um, will tell us. They'll let you know, hey man, it was because of you when you did this and when you said that, that made me go back to school. That made me get off my mama's couch and decide I'm going to go do this and step up and oh uh, this made me um, reach out to my to my son that I haven't talked to in 20 years and mend that relationship all kind of scenarios can take place and these are successes that we don't equate to being something that we have something that we touch as as a, a fruitful thing but it's absolutely fruitful. It's absolutely beneficial to us because we also have the power to, we have the power to inspire, but we also have the power to send people in the wrong direction as well. And many of us have done that, especially in music, you know, in our ignorance. So when you get a chance to transform a life for the better, then you are indeed successful. And, 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 and a sharing in that person's success. And, you know, that don't mean they owe you no money or nothing, but it's something that you should look at and celebrate 
and rejoice and be happy about it. like yeah man that's, that's pretty cool man that's pretty cool because um what you deposited in them however you did it it represents a seed and that seed that was that was planted in them by you with god's blessing um sprouted something that made somebody better and it eternally connected you to them and to their greatness to now so now you you actually were living in them you were living in them so never get caught up in thinking that number one that the things that you do uh of good don't have any any value to them don't ever think that because it may it may appear to not move the needle it don't show up as as a, a even a blip on the radar don't feel like it has no value or that it's not registered in the universe it absolutely is registered in the universe but sometimes we don't even know who it landed on you know what I'm saying they say a, they say a hit dog gonna holler but we always normally equate that to like when you drop some truth on somebody who didn't want to hear it, then they come back and lash at. Now, but you know, hit dog on a hit dog on how to too with something when you throw a good rock, when you cast a good rock out there and it hits them, they gonna holler in terms of letting people know that you was their inspiration and in terms of um, just the fruit that it bears from from what they got from you. So yeah, we don't see all our successes. So never say I ain't successful or I don't think I'm successful. You don't know. In that vein, you don't know. Because it's not just all about my money, my cars, my houses and all that, my jewelry and all that. It's more to success than that. Happiness is success. That's the biggest success. Peace is success. The biggest success. Because you can have all those other things I named and still be miserable. So keep that in mind as we move forward, man. It's your big brother, K. We know y'all go subscribe to the Underground Dialogue Podcast and the Legends 34 Podcast, and we will catch y'all with another one real soon. Peace.